Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hoi and Bandicoot. My name's Ethan, and today I just wanted to give my thoughts on The Walking Dead Michonne. I uh, played the first level uh, the other day it came out. I think it was on the 23rd, uh, Tuesday it came out. Um, and I played through it. it. took me about 80 minutes. Uh, I was idle for a bit, though, so just over an hour, really, I'd say. So um, if you want to see my choices for the game, because obviously it comes up with a big list of all your major choices in each episode if you've ever played a Telltale game like Walking Dead or Game of Thrones um, you can go over to my Steam profile just generic area on Steam and then you can look at that because um, I think it's in my uploaded screenshots but anyway I just wanted to give my thoughts uh, the general consensus on this is that the um, story wasn't as strong as the Walking Dead season 1 or 2 um, because it's a focus on Michonne's character really uh, it takes place in between uh, 126 I believe after 126 of the comics uh, basically Michonne disappears and then comes back and joins Rick and the group later on um, as someone who's not read the comics at all I mean I'm a huge fan of the TV show I'm one of those little like plastic fans that doesn't actually read the comic books um, but as someone who's never read the comic books um, like it doesn't really matter um, at all like there's no spoilers for any of the comics in this episode because um, uh, obviously at this point we're further ahead than where they are on the TV show so yeah there's no spoilers for that so I wouldn't be worried about that if if, um, if that's something you were thinking about and I don't feel like I needed to have read the comics at all um, the only real mention that the, the only real um, connection to this game being in the comic universe to be honest is the fact that um, you see like uh, images of Rick and Carl and stuff in the menu screen and things uh, but other than that uh, you don't really need to have read the comics at all um, so yeah so I think I'm in agreement that the story wasn't as strong um, basically you are Michonne and you were this guy called Pete and a, and a few other survivors on a boat trying to find some of Pete's friends um, because you sort of go off uh, leave Rick's group um, because you've got some sort of troubles, you're trying to deal with the inner angst of your two daughters, I, I assume. Um, that's who they are anyway, as you can see now on the screen. Um, you're having like, uh, hallucinations and things like that, trying to deal with this really. And that's why you decide to go, because you can't start a new life without um, getting rid of this sort of trauma. Um, but it's... It, it's pretty good. Um, you're with this other guy, group of survivors, and you've got to, you've got to um, find your friends. So you you go to this abandoned ferry, and then you end up getting um, caught by this new group of people led by Randall and Norma, I believe her name is, which made me laugh because of um, Norma is just a really like unintimidating name because of the woman from Orange Is the New Black called Norma. Um, and speaking of Orange Is the New Black, uh, the woman who voices Michonne is Poussey. <laughs> from Orange is the New Black, uh, which fits really well, she does a great job of great voice acting there, um, and yeah, so the story wasn't as strong like a lot of the characters I didn't give a shit about, there's a bit at the end, obviously I'm going to spoil the story a bit here, so if you've not played it then perhaps mute, um, but it's a bit at the end, but the most major decision of the, of the episode I'd say is whether you let um, Sam kill, I think his name's Zachary or not, um, but that wasn't a really hard decision to make um, and there's a couple of times in the game where you can sort of wrap people out or decide to defend them um, like Sam and her, her brother um, I don't really give a shit about Sam to be honest with you like I feel like she's going to be in the, in the whole miniseries of three episodes um, but I don't really care about her I don't really care about any of the characters much um, and there's sort of with The Walking Dead Season 1 and The Walking Dead Season 2 and then um, Game of Thrones as well, because the characters are because the characters are new, that makes you every corner you're shitting yourself about whether they're going to die or not, you know, th there's always risks for them, whereas with this game, you know that Michonne's safe, so you can be kind of reckless in what you say, like, I found myself choosing um, dialogue which would piss my aggressors off. Um, more than I would if I was playing a game where I didn't know the fate of the character because obviously in this you know that Michonne's going to go back to Rick's group eventually so you can kind of be a bit of an asshole and 
you know, risk it for a chocolate biscuit a bit, and the ramifications won't be as dear as, say, Game of Thrones or something, where you end up getting your head on a spike. Um, but yeah, the best thing about this game is, I mean, graphically, there's been a, an improvement. It looks, it looks awesome. Um, I'm obviously staying visual style, but it looks great. Um, Engine-wise and performance-wise, like basically the same as Walking Dead Season Two, is slightly better. Um, but yeah, th that's good. Um, and the main improvement, I would say, the best part about it is the action sequences. So obviously, Michonne is an awesome fighter. She has. Um, I'm just going to rewind this a bit because this is all the footage I have. I've just got the extended preview. Um, but yeah, it's the main thing you have is um, obviously Michonne's a, a talented. Um, fighter with a machete or katana in the TV show um, and so the action sequence is really good it's they sort of integrate the buttons like it's obviously glorified quick time events and movements of the analog sticks um, if you're playing with an Xbox controller which is what I did but if you see here um, the cinematics and sequences like the the shots and like angles like for stuff in the foreground stuff like that um, is really awesome um, the way that the buttons come up on screen um, in the scene rather than overlaying on the scene like say this one for example where she's stamping on the zombie in the fire the A button comes out over the fire and it gets covered in blood when you execute the attack um, it's really awesome, it f you feel you feel more engrossed in the scene than you would if it was just a simple button coming up on screen um, so that's something that's really cool um, and obviously if you see the black bars at the top and bottom as well you know you're getting into a fucking badass sequence so yeah basically just the animation and the choreography of I don't know really if it's choreography because obviously it's animated but the sort of animation um, and how the scenes are put together where you fight stuff is the best part of this game um, because as opposed to just um, scampering for a, for a brick or something to knock a zombie over the head you always feel like you, you're a badass motherfucker in these situations so it's awesome to play as Michonne um, but yeah to conclude awesome sequences uh, Pusey as Michonne is awesome I don't know the actress's name I should have googled that but oh well um, she's awesome um, I feel like a badass playing as Michonne um, but the only thing is uh, I'm also intrigued by the story how that's going to go how I'm now going to escape from this group um, and I basically um, the only weak thing really is the fact that uh, some of the choices didn't really have any ramifications that were noticeable like a lot of characters said they will remember that but then not, they didn't seem to do anything differently um, and then the last decision which is the most major one of the episode is sort of it's not really a hard one to make like you can either be a good person or a complete knobhead but I mean I suppose you can be a knobhead if you want but yeah I didn't feel the decisions were hard as hard as like in Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead season 1 or 2 um, so hopefully we have to do some more difficult decision making in the future but yeah let me know what your thoughts were on The Walking Dead loved the episode in uh, uh, as a whole and I'm looking forward to the next two episodes. Hopefully the release schedule is not as bullshit as Telltale Games usually are. I know they've undertaken a lot of projects, uh, such as the Batman game coming, um, and a whole range of other shit as well. So hopefully, I've got. I think I heard somewhere that the next episode's coming out in a month's time, which I can deal with. If it's a month by month thing, I can deal with that. Um, but hopefully, I'm not. We're not wait, waiting ages for the next two episodes. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below as I say um, I'll upload a link actually to my choices if you want to go and check those out and uh, see you next time have a great life